Coming up next on The Jeff Curley Show, we're going to teach you how to make big happen. We'll be talking to the president of a global CEO coaching company. His journey just ahead. Many are predicting that the worst is yet to come, which is unfortunate, said one person here. Until now, they've enjoyed the reputation of being the nation's icebox. Watched a burglar in his home this morning by webcam. As a journalist of over 25 years, stories are what make my world turn. Reporting live from the Dallas Newsroom tonight, Jeff Crilly, Fox 4 News. But in 2008, I took the jump from my familiar life and started a PR firm from my home. We're talking about anyone with a camcorder like the one I'm using becomes a television network. We started slowly growing the company and we now have over a hundred clients and we've branched into the world of live digital broadcasting. I now own eight different TV studios and have a huge team. And the stories that I now get to share are sometimes the most important of my life. Life has a funny way of coming around full circle. This is the Jeff Crilly Show. Well, lately, the drumbeat for the last couple months has been recession, recession, recession. And that can be paralyzing to a lot of people. If you're a CEO right now, don't put your head under the covers. What you might need to do is hire a great coach. To talk about that today, Sean McGinnis. He's the president at CEO Coaching International. Thanks for coming on the show. Thank you for having me, Jeff. Great to be with you. Now, let's start with the basics. What is a business coach? So the, the multiple types of business coaches where our distinguishing, I'd say, value proposition to a CEO is that all of our coaches, every single one has been a successful CEO and they've run a business in excess of $100 million, some of them multi-billion dollars, some of them have worked for the Fortune 50, well-known names that you know like Home Depot and Under Armour and Hewlett Packard uh, and the list goes on. And these are individuals who no longer want to run a business day to day, but they want to stay engaged and have an impact and leverage, in some instances, 25, 30, 40 years worth of experience of being in the trenches, of having made mistakes that if you're a CEO, you don't have to make mistakes if you have a, a, a really strong accountability partner and a coach. And uh, it's working very well for us. And I love that because so many coaches that I hear about it, maybe they taught university, they wrote a book about something, but they never ran a company. And you're hiring people who were in the trenches. In the trenches and who, who still have so much uh, energy, passion, enthusiasm for business and for people. Our average coach has a book of clients between 12 and 15 companies that they're coaching every month. So imagine you're sitting down as a person being coached and that coach is listening to helping learning from 14 other companies every month so they bring all that collective current knowledge to the table and in your opening you talked about the recession and so what we have found particularly since the last recession is that getting ahead of it's lonely being a ceo you and i both know that yes. you know you absolutely are carrying the ultimate accountability uh, for whatever the, your business, your stakeholders, your shareholders, if you're a publicly traded company. You have to be strong. You have to be well prepared and ask the tough questions. Um, and a lot of CEOs today, this recession has sort of crept up on us really quickly, even though we've heard the drumbeat for a little while and you've got Ukraine and you've got the circumstances now with cost and supply chain, etc. But to get ahead of that and to make sure that you're actually getting the results and growing in a recession, you need to go through scenario planning. Yes. You need to look at absolutely every aspect of your business, from the fi financial aspects of your business to the people. If I, I've been speaking to 22 CEOs on average a week, a combination of clients and people interested in our services. And in the top three things that they tell me are their pain points today, it's finding the right people. Mm. We have a very simple set of questions that we run through with our clients. They, they seem simple at the outset, but one of them is, if you were to rank your current team from zero to 10, let's, let's rank your chief financial officer. I get a lot of sixes, I get a lot of fives. You've got a six or a five helping you pivot and manage through recession. Right. How do you get that person to a 10, a nine or a 10? And very often I get the, I get the response, 
I don't think I can get that person to a nine or 10. Sometimes they do, and our coaches will work with them on a strategy and on a plan to make sure that they can hopefully get there. But if that person's stuck at a five, as a CEO, battling through a recession or dealing with supply chain issues or dealing with a changing economy, what do you do? Yes. And that's where a coach comes in because they ask the tough questions. And you've got some rock stars on your team. We're going to put we, up a, a page from your website. And we as we do. As we scroll down this page, you'll see, I mean, these are really, it's kind of a who's who in business, isn't it? So who's who in business? The first individual that we had up there, Jürgen Rokit, was the CEO of Mercedes-Benz Finance ran multiple countries on behalf of Mercedes-Benz, probably has forgotten more about vehicle and truck financing uh, than anyone on the planet, um, and wants to stay in the game, had a mandatory retirement through his company, um, but still has extraordinary value to offer. Work globally. A lot of our coaches are subject matter experts in a particular area, but they have the unique ability to cross over and, and be valuable in giving insights into virtually every element of the business. Why? Because they've been a CEO. Yes. They've had an exit. In the 14 years since we've been in business, in fact, really the last 10 years, 50 companies that we've been coaching have had nine-figure exits. Wow. Probably the most um, well-known one is a company called Taskus, which is a local Texas company. Um, Mark Moses, our founder and our CEO, um, has been their coach, uh, had been their coach for many years. Started with them when they had six million in top line revenue. Barely any EBITDA. Uh, that's earnings before interest, tax, depreciation, profitability, barely anything. They are now trading on NASDAQ at close to a four billion dollar valuation. That is amazing. One story, you know, I mean, and there are multiples. We have a young woman, she's Asian, um, she has a battery. Uh, um, she has a battery business. She manufactures batteries that basically provide backup support for solar and for cars, so renewable batteries. Factory in Taiwan, factory in China, about to put a factory in North Texas. And she started with us at 30 million. Her run rate today, 380 million. That's, is, that's incredible. And every CEO, I mean, every CEO that I've met uh, says to himself or herself, well, I'm not the problem. It's the C-suite. And it's tough for anybody to tell truth to power. So having a coach who is yes. really honest yes. uh, is, is doing a favor honest, to a company. Highly confidential. Yes. They really get to know the, um, the person that they're coaching very intimately. We like to say a coach does three things. They've got to be able to listen really well and be consultative in their approach. At times, they have to step in and almost be a therapist. Because at times, a CEO is going to go through some very difficult personal sure, issues. Sure, That's just life. So they have to be able to handle that well. And then they have to have the business acumen. Yes. The being there, done that. So when they're going through a financial statement or they're doing a sensitivity analysis with the client and they're looking at, you've said you want to do this. We're very specific about setting goals mm -hmm. and then developing a set of rhythms, both weekly, quarterly, and annually. We even break it down, we chunk it down into what are the specific measurable things that you need to do every day and that every person on your team needs to do every day to accomplish the goal that you've said is the most important for your business. Yes. So we have this amazing thing called the crystal ball exercise, which says, Jeff, if we were sitting here a year from today and there was one thing that you were the most proud of accomplishing during this next year in order to move the needle on some aspect of your business, let's say it's for you, you've just you know rebuilt this amazing studio, you've just invested a whole bunch of money, yours may be, I need to get full return on my investment over the next year. That's your overarching goal. We call it a huge outrageous target. Then you break that down step by step, okay? What, a, what is the number? I'm making this up. Say it's $10 million. Sure. And I need to get that payback done within the year. You'll break it down. What do I need to write down to? What do I need to sell this week? What is the profitability contribution to me after all overhead expenses? And what am I allocating to pay down that debt? Yes. And so those are the types of things. And it could be, it could be sales driven. It could be profitability driven. It could be our same store sales this year are flat. How do we, we still got the same volume of people coming through the store. Our average ticket price is $35. 
How do we add a dollar to that? And if we add a dollar to that, where does it move the needle on our profitability? Yes. That's what our coaches do so well. And they do that across all industries. We work in manufacturing. We work in services. We work in finance. Very fascinating for me is looking at the composition of our clients. Yes. Hired guns, people that are running companies that you know have a board, but they don't have somebody that they can really open up to and be very authentic and candid with. Family businesses, because the nuances of a family business. So coaching the next generation. Yes. Mom or dad are handing the business over. There may be three. You're going to be in that situation. That's right. You know, my wife's been in that situation with her family business. Are the next generation prepared? Do they have the skill set and do they have their right hand that they can, you know, literally level with? Yes. And then we do entrepreneurs is a, is a fairly a sizable um, group of our clients. Um, and then interestingly enough, private equity firms are a big client of ours. The CEOs of private equity backed companies, they come to us and these are household names, names like Trivest and HIG. Um, we've coached Blackstone invested companies, wow. Goldman Sachs invested companies. So we're a serious business. Yes. You know, and, and that's that's our I would say our our unique value proposition. And um, it's even more critical now when you hit a little speed bump like like a recession, you gotta have your, your company finely tuned. And one of the things that you do yes. is you have regular Zoom meetings. We're gonna put we up a, a little video on the screen. And you it, lately you've been talking a lot about the recession. Um, so you're getting key insights from some brilliant people about how to recession proof your company, aren't you? Correct. And so what we do is we crowdsource from both our clients and our coaches who've again been through multiple cycles. We have young CEO clients who are being coached that have never been through a recession, that haven't dealt with the kinds of difficulties we're facing. And by the way, counterintuitively, even those clients of ours that are producing oil and gas, they're struggling because to draw things out of you know hydrocarbons costs money, it's electricity is 30% of the cost of extracting oil or gas today comes from electricity, mm. 30%. So everything has an impact and has a snowball effect. So to the extent that you can get ahead of it, create your flywheels, be, be very hyper vigilant about all those elements. So in these webinars, our coaches are sharing from experience. They are then leaving behind checklists, tools. We have a fantastic recession uh, ebook right now mm -hmm. that takes you through some scenario planning asks you to answer 20 foundational questions that if you're not handling any one of those you, you've got to get your acts together and do it and I don't mean that pejoratively it's sure that's the call to action because you want to survive. I want to give a shout out to uh, your your founder. Yes, uh, Mark Moses. <laughs> making Big Happen. I love that title. Uh, and so tell us more about this book. So Making Big Happen was authored primarily by Mark and four of our other coaches, Don Schiavone, Craig Coleman, Chris Larkins. Um, and it really is all of the lessons they've learned and our coach community over the past 14 years, literally all of the case studies, the methodologies, we have a framework, so we're, we embrace things like KPIs and OKRs, and there's a popular system called EOS. We don't prescribe how the company or what they use to measure their goals. We overlay the framework, and then our coaches create the accountability drivers to be successful. So this book encapsulates all of those learnings. It's almost like a reference guide. Uh, very handy. You can pick it up at any time. It's written from the perspective of a CEO for a CEO. Sure. Um, and all of the authors are coaches. So Mark still carries a book of business. Wow. Don does. Chris does. Craig does. Um, so they talk from experience. Every Monday, and this is, you know, to those of you that are, are in a service-based business, every Monday for 90 minutes, every one of our coaches turns up for what we call a skills call. Every single Monday, 90 minutes. We do a case study on a client. It's usually confidential, mm -hmm. you know, but we, we, we do recession, financing for growth. Um, it may be somebody's really having difficulties. What I'm learning today, what do you think one of the most difficult jobs to recruit for today is for a, a private, a smaller company? I have no idea. Accounting. Really? The lack of qualified accounting professionals is extraordinary. You've got a lot of, you know, the great resignation that you and I have talk, talked about a lot. Mm -hmm. 
um, a lot of people are, are aging out of the workforce. It's not so much work from home, stay at home. Yes, those issues are there, but we're losing a lot of talented people through right. retirement. Right. So how, where do you source these people? How do you find them? Um, and that's a critical component. Wow. Sean, <laughs> I could have you on all day. <laughs> uh, what, uh, oh, uh, final great. thoughts. What would you like to leave people with? Well, you know, I think it for, from our standpoint, my experience has been um, that having, having a coach, having an accountability partner, it's like an athlete. I use the, you, you talk to any elite athlete. I was just at the um, New Olympic Museum in Colorado Springs. And I happened to be there um, at the, uh, when they were inducting their new Hall of Fame honorees. And so Michael Phelps and oh, wow. all these people. And I, we did a private tour of the museum and I saw all of these, every single, single Olympic torch, for every single Olympic game, summer and winter, they've got the originals wow. lined up. And as I was walking down the, the line of torches and looking at, at, at these elite athletes, I realized that behind every elite athlete is an elite coach and an elite support team. Yes. And so I've learned that throughout my business, you know, having been the president uh, and chief operating of YPO, the largest peer group of successful CEOs in the world, 33,000 of them. And I, I helped run that business for seven and a half years. The CEOs that are most successful surround this, themselves with people that give them candid advice. They act on that advice and they grow and learn as individuals. So. If you feel you're not growing and learning, consider getting a been there, done that coach to help you on your journey. You won't regret it. And I'll leave you with one final statistic. We send our clients results every year to NY Stern. And if clients have been with us for two or more years, two or more years, and we compare them to the, to the top line sales of US companies, we exceed two times the natural the national average and on profitability four times that's the national average it's stunning and and numbers matter yes sean <laughs> you're, you are amazing you're so inspirational we're going to leave with the website which is ceo coaching international the great sean mcginnis thanks for coming on the show jeff thank you for having me <laughs> you bet that's it for now we'll see you next time